Welcome YouTubers, my name is Platt. I'm a Las Vegas bartender, home brewer, and all around lover of booze. And this is the first of a series of videos where I take you on my journey through the wonderful world of alcoholic beverages. Today we're going to start off by showing you the simplest way to make booze at home. So let's go. Now for this little project, all you need is, is some form of fruit juice, two liters, we're using grape in this example, sugar, yeast, and you might want to have a handy funnel and measuring scoop, but not necessary for this project. Now the real MVP of this whole thing is our yeast. We're using a bread yeast. In future episodes you'll learn about other types of yeast, but bread yeast will do for this. And it's the yeast that will convert the sugars and the juice and the sugars we add into lovely alcohol. That we need it. It's time to do it. All we're going to do is we're going to crack this open. You're going to want to pour a little bit out. And we're going to take our handy strainer. We're going to dump the sugar in. We're going to put in about one cup. So you want to make sure you take out about one cup's room out of the, the jar. We're going to seal this back up. And we're going to give her a good shake. Now there's a couple reasons for this. But for our purposes today, and since we're uh, keeping it simple, we're just going to shake it up and make sure we get the sugar all in there. Alright. None on the bottom here. So now that we've got this shaken up, we're going to open this back up. We're going to take our yeast. We're going to put it in. Now we're not going to use a whole pack. Probably, I'd say half to a third third or half of the pack is good. All right. And here we go. About half the pack. Now we're going to put the cap back on, but we're not going to put it on all the way. We're going to put it on about half the way. As you can see, I can still squeeze it. And this is to make sure that nothing bubbles out, that, that we can let air out, but no, nothing gets in. It's only been a couple hours, but you can see we have a nice little head forming on top. That is coming from the CO2 that's being released by the yeast. Thus, we're having to keep the lead up top a little looser to allow the air to come out without building up too much pressure. As I told you earlier, it's the yeast that is producing the alcohol right now. Now this bubbling will continue for up to about seven days, the first two being the most uh, vigorous. We'll leave this in here for about 10 days. And after about 10 days, you'll want to decant this because as you'll see on the bottom, yeast will start forming down there and you don't want to pour that into your glass. So after you decant, I suggest you throw in the refrigerator for a couple hours and it'll be ready to serve. And what you have is what some people will call hooch, pruno, or prison wine. I will warn you up front, it's not the tastiest thing you'll ever have, but it is yours and it's homemade. Think of it as a first step on a beautiful journey. Well, YouTubers, what did we learn today? Well, we learned one, making booze is easy. And two, it's because yeast does all the work for us. Well, I hope you liked the video. And if you did, feel free to subscribe down below. In future videos, I'll go over making cider, mead, beer, and wine. And if you like, you can also follow me at Platt's Booze Blog on Twitter. Speaking of blogs, you know I've got one, plattsboozeblog.blogspot.com. On it, I write about the Las Vegas bar scene and do some product reviews. Well, until next time, bye-bye.